Dutch East Indies, August 31st, 1941. Dutch soldiers and sailors relax in the cafes of Batavia, the sophisticated capital of Java. But all is not as it seems. Dutch troops parade defiantly, despite the fact that their homeland has fallen to the German army. The Nazis are rampaging across Europe. Japan has occupied large parts of China, and its imperial forces are massing for a huge attack in the Pacific and Southeast Asia. The world will never be the same again. By the autumn of 1941, France is under the control of the Vichy government, which has signed an accord with Japan's ally, Adolf Hitler. After initial skirmishes, the French authorities in Indochina agree to allow the Japanese army unhindered movement throughout the colony. Now the Indochinese people have two masters, Vichy France and Imperial Japan. Ho Chi Minh. The French bow their heads and kneel down shamelessly, without a single word of protest. As a result, our people suffer under a double burden. They serve not only as buffaloes and horses to the French invaders, but also to the Japanese. What sin has our people committed to be doomed to such a wretched plight? As the pro-Vichy French authorities administer Indochina under the watchful eye of the Japanese army, Ho Chi Minh and a small band of fellow revolutionaries set up camp in a remote region across the Vietnamese border in China. One of them is a 29-year-old intellectual, Vo Nguyen Giap. When we were in Quilin, Uncle Ho came and discussed with us the preparations for the task ahead when we return to our country. He said, in the current situation, national security becomes all the more important. We must organize a broad national front. We had better call it the Vietnamese Independence League. But that's a long name. We'll shorten it to Viet Minh. People will remember that. During their exile, Ho Chi Minh takes a prophetic decision about Giap's role. Uncle Ho asked about organizing a national liberation army. Turning to me, he said, this you should carry out. Can you do that? I answered, yes, I'll do that. Then he said, we are still weak. The enemy is strong but we must not let them annihilate us. By 1942, following the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, the only parts of Asia and the Pacific not under Japanese control are the British stronghold of India and the territory in China controlled by Chiang Kai-shek's anti-communist Chinese nationalists. Burma becomes the crucial battleground on the Asian mainland. If the Allies can reopen the supply lines between India and nationalist China, the Japanese will have to deflect troops and material away from the war in the Pacific. British and American forces use unconventional warfare tactics behind Japanese lines. They make contact with local tribes and organize them to fight the Japanese. The Americans also send men from the newly formed OSS, the Office of Strategic Services, precursor of the CIA, to support local groups, both nationalist and communist. In return for intelligence, 
an ISS group, codenamed Deer Team, supply Ho Chi Minh's Viet Minh with weapons and training. Ho Chi Minh. Now the opportunity has come for our liberation. The Japanese are bogged down in China. They are hamstrung by the British and the Americans and cannot contend with us. If our entire people are united, we will smash the French and Japanese armies. Compatriots, rise up to fight the French and the Japanese. In late 1944, as the Japanese Empire in Asia begins to crumble under the overwhelming onslaught of Allied forces, Giat launches a general insurrection throughout Vietnam. By the middle of 1945, he has risen to the rank of general at the head of a force of 10,000 men. But fighting the Japanese is costly. General Giap. Then came the terror. Whole families were arrested, their houses burned. Villages were razed to the ground. Those who had revolutionary papers were shot, beheaded, who had their arms cut off and displayed in the marketplace. Thousands of piestres were offered as a reward to those who brought in a revolutionary's head. We knew the struggle would be long and bitter. As early as 1941, Uncle Ho had warned us that the fight against the Japanese was only the beginning. He knew that the British and the Americans had the same motives as the French. They were all imperialists. An OSS training camp in Burma at the end of the war. Events in Asia are developing rapidly. Ho Chi Minh's prediction proves to be accurate. In March 1945, the Japanese army overthrows the French administration and replaces it with a puppet government under Bao Dai, the emperor of Annam. August 25th, Rangoon, Burma. Lieutenant General Takata Numata arrives from Saigon to surrender Japan's southern army to the Allies. Following Emperor Hirohito's order, that Japan endures the uninjurable and accepts defeat. Ho Chi Minh. This is a great advance in the struggle waged for nearly a century by our people. The National Liberation Committee is now a provisional government. Unite around it and see to it that its policies and orders are carried out throughout the country. As the Viet Minh moves to take control of the country, Allied troops arrive, Chinese nationalists in the north and British in the south. Saigon, September 6th. Allied prisoners of war and French internees are released by the British. General Gracie, commander of British forces, allows the Japanese to retain their weapons to help him keep order. <laughs> 